today we will look at the pencil tool. The pencil tool is this guy here. I have gone through tons of literature and examples because I wanted to find the perfect way to show you how to use this pencil tool. And here's why. It is just so easy to use it. And once you master it, it's going to be a game changer for your illustration work. All it takes is for you to learn it. And I'm going to take you through step by step into the most important functions. Whether you are a student, a scientist, an engineer, a graphic designer, or someone who is just looking on getting that cool illustration for your work, this is the place for you. As usual, we will be using the free software Inkscape, an alternative to Adobe Illustrator. I bet you, you are going to find something useful from this. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel and find this useful, please consider subscribing and getting engaged in the comments section below. I value all your comments. I may be a little bit faster here compared to the previous videos in this series. If I am fast or if my accent is a problem, please pause the video and practice what I have described before resuming to watch the video. Or go to the settings under your video and reduce the speed. The pencil tool is similar to the pen tool or the Bezier tool in many ways. Like the Bezier tool, it creates notes and paths and connects the notes. However, with the pencil tool, you can do more freehand drawings as opposed to the Bezier tool. Sometimes this is very handy for your illustration work. Since the pencil tool allows for freehand drawings, its use could be leveraged by using a drawing graphic tablet. If you do not know what this is, this is a computer input device that allows a user to draw freehand images, animations and graphics with a special pen-like stylus like for your smartphone. And this is similar to the natural way you would draw images or graphics with a pencil and a paper. There are dedicated products for this like the Wacom tablet, but nowadays you can also adapt your smartphone or tablet to do the same thing. I have experience with the Android system. In the absence of a graphic tablet, let us use the mouse to draw. Select the pencil tool and draw the letter S by dragging your mouse on the canvas. Switch to the selection tool by pressing the spacebar or using the shortcut S or F1. Look down here and the information notification area will show you how many notes are present in the object. To have a visual appreciation, press N or use the note tool to see how many notes are on the object. Now select the pencil tool again by hitting P on your keyboard. Go up here and set the smoothing to 45 and create another S. Switch to the selection tool by pressing the spacebar or using the shortcut S or F1. Look down here and the information notification area will show you how many notes are present in the object. To have a visual appreciation, again press N or select the note tool to see how many notes are on the object. We notice that this S shape is more smoother than the previous one and has fewer notes. To appreciate, let us look at this again and see the notes of the object. Now go back again to the first we drew and select it and press N to see its notes. The smoothness will enable you to draw a lot of freehand objects. However, the more you smoothen the object, the lesser you arrive at a good result. Above a certain threshold, the smoothness will convert the object to a straight line, depending on the setting. Now select the pencil tool again by hitting P on your keyboard, then set the smoothness to 80. Draw the S again. Now switch to the selection tool by pressing the spacebar or using the shortcut S or F1. Look down here at the information notification area and see how many notes are present on the object. To have a visual appreciation again, press N or use the note tool to see how many notes are on the object. We notice that we have now just two notes and an object which is a little bit far away from an S. In my experience, a smoothness of between 35 to 45 gives the best result. 
Let us take our smoothing back to say 40. Let us select the next mode, Spider Paths. This mode will automatically smooth out what you're drawing. Draw the S again and see how naturally smooth it will look like. Select P again and set the smoothing to 80. Try to draw an S again. Notice that it becomes a straight line because the smoothing was way too much. Let us take our smoothing back to say 40. Let us select the next mode, create B spline path. This mode will automatically smooth out what you're drawing. It is a little bit more advanced. Draw the S again and see how naturally smooth it will look like. Select N to see the notes. Notice that there are invisible paths here that are called up by selecting the note tool and can be used to further manipulate the curve. Let us go ahead and grab some of the notes and modify the object a little. Let's grab this one, modify, grab this one, modify, grab this one, modify. And you see how much freedom you have in manipulating the path. Select P again to switch to the pencil tool. The next mode up here is the LPE based interactive simplify. LPE stands for live path effects. We will see more of LPE in the next videos. I think you will not need it for now. Let us skip it. The very next most important tool is the reset pencil tool. This will reset everything to its default. Now, like we saw for the pen tool, let us go ahead and try out different shapes. You have the shapes known, triangle in, triangle out, ellipse, from clipboard, bent from clipboard, and last applied. With the setting at known, as we have been using before, all our lines are simple strokes, and you can manipulate them under object, fill and stroke. Let us select an object we've drawn here, and go to stroke style, and change the stroke width. We see that it has changed. However, once you change the shape to triangle in, or triangle out, or ellipse, they are going to make more shapes, but these shapes are not going to be strokes anymore, and can consequently not be controlled by this fill and stroke palette here. Let us set the mode to spiral, the smoothing at 35, and draw an S again. It made a tap at line by smoothing the S such that it begins thicker and thins out toward the tail. Hit the space bar to select and try to change the stroke width under the fill and stroke palette. You will notice that you cannot change it. This is because this is no longer a stroke. Click on the object and hit N to expose the notes. Notice that the notes have a different color, but there is this alpha note which is pink. Grab it and pull it down and you will notice that you can increase the thickness through that. And you now can understand more what triangle in means. Select P again and draw a tap up vertical line beginning from the bottom of your page and going up. Hit on N and look for that pink note and increase the thickness of your line. Select P again and draw flourishes along, along the line. Select P again and draw flourishes along the line. Draw the first one, draw the second one, draw the third one, and draw the fourth one. With triangle inset, select one of them and go up here and select convert selected object to path or by hitting shift control C. Zoom in to about 200 times. Press N while the object is still selected. Notice that by converting it to path, we have made editable notes. You can grab one of the notes here at the end and stretch. And stretch both ways. Then press S5 to go back to your full screen mode or out of the zoom. And you will notice that we've made a leaf at the end. Do this for the many others and you will be having something like a climbing plan, like a bean plant. Select the pencil tool again by hitting P. Let us now go and select triangle out 
and draw an object. Hit N to switch to the note tool. Grab that pink note and increase the width. And now let us see ellipse. Select the pencil tool again by hitting P. Let us now go and select ellipse and draw an object. Hit N to switch to the note tool. Grab that pink note and increase the width again. Finally, let us see what from clipboard does. Switch the mode back to create regular Bezier path and then the shape to known. Select the Bezier tool and draw a fancy looking object by clicking here, clicking there and so on. Hit the space bar to select the object, then copy to clipboard by using Ctrl C. Hit P on the keyboard to go back to the pencil tool. Change the mode to create spiral path. Under shape, select from clipboard. Draw an object. When you end your drawing, you will notice that this shape has been transposed onto it. This way you've drawn a tap art flourish. I will leave you to explore the other possibilities. I hope in this video to have shown you a couple of things you can do with the pencil tool. And as said before, once you master this, it's going to be a game changer how you do your illustrations. In the next video, we'll look at path effects one after the other. The first will be bent. After that, we'll apply the knowledge we've learned so far in real life illustration in a follow up video. Thank you for watching this video. If you find what I'm doing useful, please consider subscribing and leave your comments below. I value all of them. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.